I want you to list all of the factors for 12 and all of the factors for 16. Go ahead and do that real quick. All of the factors for 12 and all of the factors for 16. All right, who would like to read me the factors that they have for 12? Um, Antonio. No, oh, oh. I want someone who's going to give them to me in order the right way. Daniel. One, two, three, four. Can we slow down? One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, who would like to give me the factors for 16? Um, Abney. One. Three? Are you sure? Three times four doesn't equal twelve. Okay, someone who has it ready? Bella? One, two, four, eight, and sixteen. What's that? It's more um oh, okay. Really? Just go ahead and put it on the floor over there. Um so looking at this. Do you see that any of there are any common factors between these two numbers? We have 12 and 16. Are any of these factors the same? Jaden, what do you see? Four. Four? They both have a four as a factor. Preston? They're both an even number. They're both an even number, but we're talking about factors. Uh, do they have any even factors? They both have a two. They both have a two. Okay. Any other ones? Um, Christine. They both have a one. So they have some common factors, don't they? They share the same factors, one, two, and four. Okay, that's going to lead us into today's lesson. Go ahead and open your book if it's not already. Chuck has a coin collection with 30 pennies, 24 quarters, and 36 nickels. He wants to arrange the coins into rows. Each row will have the same number of coins, and all the coins in a row will be the same. How many coins can he put in each row? So he wants to find out. I want you to go back and underline what exactly is he asking. What is the important part of this question that shows what he's asking? Go ahead and take a minute to do that. It's not about value of the money, but it's more how many coins can he put in each row. And he has some rules that he set for for that. His rules are that he wants the same number of coins in each row and he wants all the coins in the row to be the same kind of coin. So a row, if a row has a penny, that row should have all pennies. If a row has nickels, it should have all nickels. And if it has quarters, it should have all nickels. And if the row has five nickels, then the, another one should have five quarters and five pennies. So he wants the same amount of coins in each row with no leftovers and no um, holes, no gaps, kind of like yesterday when we were doing factors and we ended up with gaps. So we need to find how many coins that can go into each row so that each row has the same number And the same coin, right? Type of coin. <coughs> I'm going to move it in just a minute. Okay. So it needs to have how many coins it can go in each row so that each row has the same number of coins and the same type of coin in each row. Okay. What information do I need to use? So we'll start talking with, nobody should be writing, by the way. Chuck has how many pennies? 30. 30 pennies. 20, how much? 24 quarters. And 36 nickels. 36 nickels. Each <laughs> row has, we don't know yet. I guess each row has the same number. The same number is probably what we're looking for. Number of coins. 
How can, can I make a list? I can make a list, I'm sorry, to find the factors of all three numbers. And that's going to help me with this problem. 30, 24, and 36. I can take these three numbers, 30, 24, and 36, <coughs> make a list of their factors, and then I can find a common factor. Look at that word down here. I've already told you guys what a common factor is, isn't it? Didn't I? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide over here, what are the factors of 30, 24, and, and 36? I want this, these two tables to find the factors of 30. I want this table and that table to find the factors of 24. And I want this table and you guys to find the factors of 36. Ready, set, go. Remember when I have you list the <coughs> factors? I would like to have the, them listed in order because that's how we do the factors. Who from this group would like to tell me the factors for 30? Why don't we go with Angelica? Everybody else should be, hold on. Everybody else should be listening and watching, not writing. Or eating anything crunchy. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Does everybody at table five and four agree with her? Okay. Table um, four and, I mean, sorry, table three and table two. Someone from there want to list the factors for me? Why don't we go with Rachel? One, two, three, four. Okay, I got it. The first person that said 12 was sufficient. Okay. And um, everybody at table two and three agree with those factors? Yeah. No, this. Thank you. All right, table one and table zero. <laughs> Who at those tables would like to share? Why don't we have Elijah? Why don't you read them off for me? I skipped one because I think we're missing one. Who knows what we're missing? Good job, Elijah. What are we missing, Riley? Three. And? Um, six. Oh, we are also missing six. Six, nine, and we're also missing one more number, Daniel. Twelve. There we go. Okay, so looking at these, we need to find the common factors. What is the first common factor I see? One. One. Two. Is there anything we can say? I haven't asked that question yet. Is there anything we can say about ones? No. There's always going to be a common factor of one. Yeah. Always. Okay. What's my next common factor? Two. What's my next one? Three. Okay, just, did I ask a question? No. I don't, did I ask a question? I don't think I did. Okay. What's my next common factor? Six. The first one does not have a four. So take a minute and check if there are any more common factors. Raise your hand if you see a common factor. Another one. Not your voice, your hand. Raise your hand if you see another common factor. You do? That has to go across all three. No, and the way that I checked it is I just said 10. Does any have 10? No. Does any have 50? No. Does any have 30? No, I'm done. Because if, if... But there's... But is 15 equal 12? No. So our common factors are... Help me. One, two, three, six. Okay, going back to the question, does it say the greatest common factor or the least common factor? The highest, the lowest, nothing, right? It says, how many coins can he put in each row? We have a couple different choices. So look at, there's four lines down here. Oh, we had how many common factors? Four. So we would put those right here. One, two, three, or six in each row. We can make rows of one, which we probably wouldn't do, but we can make rows of two, we can make, make rows of three, or we can make rows of six and have it work out all nice and even. Go ahead and copy all that down. 
All right, Ryan collects animal figures. He has 45 elephants, 36 zebras, and 18 tigers. He will arrange the figures into rows. Each row will have the same number of figures, and all the figures in a row will be the same. Does this look familiar? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, we don't have to be silly. How many figures can be in each row? So we're going to use our graphic organizer to remind us. We need to find out how many figures... You can go ahead and write with me. How many figures in each row with the same number in each row and same figures in each row? Figures in the same row. <coughs> Meaning you can't have an elephant, a zebra, and a tiger in the same row. What information do I need to use? How many elephants did I have? 45 elephants. Elephants, that's an S. How many zebras? 36. 36 zebras and 18 tigers. And how are we going to use this information? What did we just do last time? We found common factor. Find the common factor. Okay, you should be writing all this. I'm actually letting you do that this time. Find the common factors of 45, 36, and 18. Okay, this time, table 0 and 1, you're going to do the factors for 45. Table 2 and 3, you're going to do the factors for 36. And table 4 and 5, you're going to do the factors for 18. Ready, set, go. Okay, who um, from table 0 and 1 wants to tell us the factors for 45? Um, why don't we do Daniel this time? 1, 3, You missed one. <laughs> what did she miss? You guys, you two, your two tables? 15. 15. 15. That's the 3 times 15. Okay, and then we have 36. That was table 3 and 2 and 3. Who would like to read the factors there? Um, Haley. We missed one. 12, 18, and 36. Okay, and the factors for 18, um, Abney. Six, not eight. Nine. Nine, 18. Okay. First common factor class is one. one. Do not answer the next question. Think. What is the next common factor? Three. Very good. Three. Okay, think. And look. The last one? Nine. Okay, so the last one is nine. So we have one, three, or nine. Nine. 